Hey guys, thanks for coming back. Uh, today I'm putting these ICT motor mounts on my LS. I purchased these from Amazon. They were like 32 bucks, so not a bad deal, but it come with some detailed instructions. And I'll walk you through that step by step of what I had to do and what I had to change on them. These work with your clamshell motor mounts, so it makes it very simple you reuse your stock motor mounts and they're very adjustable in locations so go ahead and check it out let me know what you think hit subscribe interesting but i don't think i can run this I'm gonna have to get realizing that I need to get a bracket for the air conditioning. Didn't know that. I'm just gonna put some Loctite uh, 243 on it. It'll just make me feel better. All the way around. I need to get a measurement from here to here from the transmission where it mounts to where the motor mount is on the frame. So, then the tape measure. Right now I'm about 12 inches. I don't know, let's, let's go check it out real quick. Transmission isn't exactly right now, but here is the motor mount. And the right to from the transmission, and that, that does, it's gotta come up. If it does come up, pretty much stays where it's at actually. So right here we're saying 13 inches. 13 or inside of that clamshell. So right there, it's gotta come forward an inch. I don't know if it'll come forward an inch. That might need to be modified. Let's see this one will work. There's a, a mount right here. The other side doesn't have that mount. Oh, gotta go this way. Let's just assume I can put it there before I modify it. So right here, this is 13 inches. It's got to go right there. So I kind of want to show you what I'm talking about. And so if you line it up with this hole here, so you can see that's interfering and the holes aren't, they've got to go up a good quarter of an inch. So if I notch this piece out right here, then it'll allow this to slide further back. So that is the disadvantage to these brackets right now and using these. I'm sure if I went with a different route, it would be better or worse. I don't know. So we'll go ahead and get those cut out. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take the welder and weld this edge here just so it doesn't create any stress cracks. So go over and weld that real quick. 
So, kind of got that welded. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Doesn't look too pretty, but it'll look nice once we're done. Alright, I think that's what I wanted to achieve. Kind of built this edge up a little bit just to prevent cracks. These crack pretty easy. I've had a bunch of crack right through here. And uh, I just don't want them to come apart. I know there's some other motor mounts, but these are what I have. I'm just, and I've been always happy with these. I got these on my big block and they hold up really well. But cool, let's see how it looks. Wait, that's gonna work perfect. I'm gonna throw some paint on it. And got that all modified and welded. Little notch in there. Things fit really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Loctite on it. I, I just worry. I hate when bolts come out and I hate dealing with it later. So, so a little lock tie. Make life easier later, I hope. Or make it worse sometimes. It's all the pain. So we'll just go ahead and torque them. So that's how I put on these ICT mounts. Turned out pretty good. Uh, I just measured from here to here like I showed you. And we'll continue with the next part, but uh, guys, if you wanna see more of this, I figure you might wanna just see this portion, hit subscribe, we'll make a video on this, and uh, we'll continue along with the rest of the LS. Uh, cool. Thanks, guys.